Some of you may not know what a wood-burning pellet stove is, so since we've got the back off and seeing some of the internals, uh, I'll explain what this is and how this works. Now, different models are laid out a little bit differently, but they all have the main parts. Let's start over here. What we have here is the, uh, the draft fan and housing and everything. An electric motor, obviously, that spins it. Uh, there's a uh, squirrel cage in here, and then, of course, the plenum, and goes back into the firebox, and it pulls a, uh, a negative draft, essentially. Uh, it's a forced draft, unlike, uh, you know, when you burn wood, heat rises in convection, and that's how a fireplace works. But this is a forced draft, and this is variable speed, controlled by the board, which is back in here, on this side here. Uh, then, of course, the gearbox here, or one of the gearboxes uh, that feeds the pellets. Now this can be mounted in different positions and in different ways depending on the model mine. The auger goes straight through. Anyway, this runs at different intervals depending on the heat setting or how you have your feed rates set up. I mean, you can use the presets. I have mine customized. Anyways, so this turns off and on by the board to feed pellets to keep the fire going. Um, over here, this is actually an optional part for most stoves. This is the fresh air or the combustion air. Um, there will always be an intake for combustion air, but some stoves just take it from the room and you're, you're, you're burning your hot air that you're creating. Well, I have a hose that goes outside, so it's pulling in fresh air from the outside for combustion, and it's, it's a completely sealed system. So uh, it's... Your fresh combustion air comes in here, burns, and then is forced out by the draft fan. All right, over here we got another squirrel case. This is your room fan, or the fan that blows the heat exchanger, which is up top. So it pulls in air on the side and blows it out, and it's variable speed, controlled by the board for the different heat settings that you have. And of course the boards, different styles and types uh, for different controls and things, and. Uh, you know, by the stove, but they all basically control all these parts uh, independently. Now, one thing this stove has that a lot of other stoves don't have is an agitator to agitate the uh, burn pot uh, up front in the in the fire box. It's handy for when burning, you know, corn. It keeps the what are called clinkers or uh, uh, grinds them up, and then they can fall through the little holes in the burn pot, and then into your ash bucket, and you take them out. I mean, different stoves handle that kind of operation differently. Um, this, that's just what this one has. Um, I don't know if it's better or worse, but uh, it works great for me. And then what you're seeing here is, is part of the hopper. This, this one holds uh, 50 pounds, I believe. And um, like I said, where this is all mounted, it kind of can reverberate a little bit if there's a little bit of vibration here. So that's kind of, uh, this is kind of, I made it kind of rubber mounted and, and things like that. So. That's how a pellet stove works, uh, essentially, or basically, the basic parts in the back of this thing. And I thought I'd do that at the end of the video because most people are going to be watching for the how-to of what I did here. But some of you might stumble onto this video and be like, what's a pellet stove and how does it work? Well, here's a quick and dirty way of how this thing works. 